All right, I am not the best at making candles. I have my own weird way. You will find people who are much better at this. And I'm sure I am doing things that are not mm, technically correct, but it works for me. Um, so having said that, you'll need to get a jar. Any kind of a mason jar works. You can also get, use old, you know, cans for jars from preserves or whatever. You can also take candles that you've already used uh, that are burnt down. You have to come in and take these metal little dillies out that are holding the wicks, take those out, throw them away. And then you're gonna wanna take this and melt it uh, either in the microwave uh, or you can put it in a double boiler and till that wax melts and then clear it out and then clean the soot and that kind of stuff. Then you can reuse it. But today we're going to use the mason jar. You're gonna start with getting, you know, you need to buy some um, wick. You do, you can get these that are already pre-done. I don't like them, but if starting out, you may wanna do that. Uh, so you're gonna cut your wick, um, the, disc, the length that you will need it. So we'll cut it about right there. You will then have one of these little wick holders. You can get a whole thing of them online. All the things that I'm showing you are things that I've gotten online. So you're gonna run this through just like this till it gets to the end. Okay. Then you're gonna take uh, some pliers or something and then just crimp on that end there. You see how that does? After that, you're going to take your glue gun and you are going to put some glue on the end of this. Be careful, of course. You don't know how to use a glue gun, don't use a glue gun. Then you're going to stick it down right there. I usually have a little piece of wood that I, but I'll use some scissors. And just kind of tap it down to where it's in the middle. And there you go, then let that harden. And now we'll move to the wax. Wax 444 is the Technical. I get it on Amazon. It comes in these 10 pound bags. I'd start with a 10 pound bag. Um, and then you're gonna need to get a double boiler, just like this. So what this is, is it just needs water in it, first off. So you're gonna put some water in this. It's about right there. This goes in there. And then that's going to slowly melt your wax. Um, I There is an equation that you can get online on how much to put in for how many, uh, you know, how many uh, cups go for an ounce. Uh, I eyeball it uh, and I fill it up and then I just use it, uh, keep pouring it till it, uh, you know, I'm done with it. So we're going to let this melt down and then we'll get to the next step. Now, you're gonna also wanna get a thermometer. Um, this wax I'm using, uh, it, it needs to get to about 180 to 185 degrees before adding any kind of scent or dyes. If you're gonna add dyes, I don't, I just use scents. Um, it depends, really depends on the wax you use. So make sure you check with whatever you're using. As far as uh, scents go, you can get, there's a lot of places online. I like these guys. Um, and when it comes to adding, you literally just eye, eyeball it. <laughs> there is an equation and sometimes I use it, but normally I used to use it. Now I just kind of eyeball it. So I'm doing a mix. I'm gonna do pipe and a little bit of cedar. Um, and then we'll take this out and then you're just, you're gonna want to really stir this 
This is probably a little whisk is probably the best good and old one that you're gonna always use. And stir this for two minutes continuously. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn our heat off too. And you're gonna wanna stir this for two minutes. And then we're gonna let this sit and cool. Okay, after this is cooled, it needs to cool uh, down to at least 150 uh, or more. Um, again, depends on the wax. Uh, after that, uh, you're just pouring it. So you're literally just coming over here and I'm not gonna do this with one hand, so I'll show you the result, the end result. All right, just like that, uh, you also wanna get some of these uh, wick holders uh, that will keep the wick in the middle um, as it's drying. Um, you get the idea. Um, and that is about it. So you'll need uh, a few items. Just get those and get them on Amazon or anywhere. Also, you can use some of the extra if you have one of the um, one of the burners that does like wax, you just kind of put it in a Ziploc bag and let it dry and then you just kind of break it up and uh, use it to uh, melt and smell good. Have fun.